Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. Today doing a very cool video, special video. Um, this is my original 16 Redline Club collection. I have the complete collection now. It took them many years to complete this uh, set, but it is now complete. And just tell a little story about these. Um, in 1968, Hot Wheels first came out and they had 16 uh, models that they came out with. That's why it's called the original 16. And a few years ago, the Redline Club, um, which is owned by Hot Wheels, they do uh, some really cool stuff on there. They decided to reproduce that original 16 um, way back in, in 1968. So these are actually, like they say right there, a replica. And, um, this is the complete collection. So they put them in um, replica old style packages with the buttons. And uh, there's the back of the package, what it looks like. I actually put these in um, some special um, card keepers to make, make sure they stay nice. I actually have um, a whole nother set of these that are still in the original boxes. The original boxes are like a black, um, black box. And I wanted to be able to see the cars up closer and enjoy them a little more. So I bought a set to uh, put into these. And I left a set sealed in the boxes. So here is the uh, Custom Barracuda. Just a beautiful, beautiful job they did with these. They made 6,000 of this one. Here is the custom 67 Firebird. Really awesome. They, this is like an over chrome um, paint job. They chrome the bodies um, and then they paint over the chrome. That's why it's called over chrome finish. Beautiful job on those. Look just immaculate. There's the button. And this one, they made 6,000 of that one. Here is the silhouette. Close up to that car. Beautiful yellow spectra flame. This one, they made 4,000 of. So they made different numbers of uh, each of these cars. Here's one of the hardest ones to get. It's called the Hot Heat. Like an old uh, Model T. Really nice, like a magenta color. The gold grill. And this one, they, they only made 2,500 of this particular one. I think those were actually made to order. You know, back uh, when... The economy wasn't so good, so I just didn't get that many orders for that one. And the next one is the Cheetah. Some people call it the Python. Beautiful red paint job on that one. Very cool with the black top. And they made 4,000 of the Cheetah. Next we have the custom fleet side. Really cool, like El Camino looking vehicle there in the purple. Try to not have so much glare, but it's kind of hard not to. Because I'm not going to take them out of these uh, protective cases here. There's that one. Um, this one was not individually numbered, but I believe they made 5,000 of that one. Here is the uh, Diora. And it's called Dodge Diora Concept on the in this package here. In the orange with the surfboards. Definitely reminds people of the old school Hot Wheels. That old old style look. Um, they only made 2500 of the Diora. Next we have the Custom Cougar. One of my favorite castings that they've ever made. 
Just a beautiful looking Hot Wheels casting. With the black top there. Very nice. And they made 6,000 of that one. And these ones, with, I put the stickers on the back just so I know the serial number of the car. All that. And here we have the custom Corvette in brown. What's interesting about this uh, casting is back in 1968 when they first made it, this was actually the 1969 uh, design of the, the uh, Corvette. And so the Hot Wheel was like a spoiler of what the new <laughs> what the new Corvette was going to look like. So Hot Wheels came out with the new style Corvette before the Corvettes did. Because this was not 1968. Pretty awesome. They made 6000 of that one. Next we have the uh, Custom El Dorado. Another really awesome casting. Cadillac. Black top. This is like a rose red color. And this one, they made 5000 of that one. Here's one of my favorites. Um, especially after watching Ford v Ferrari. If you guys are, have not seen that movie, go see it. It is so good. There is a Ford J car. This car um, was designed by Carroll Shelby and um, and um, Ken Miles. And um, you see a lot of similar cars like this in that movie. Very awesome in the green here. And this one is out of 2500 One of the tougher ones to get. Here's the uh, custom Volkswagen Beetle. It's got a little slide roof on top. Beautiful job on this. Uh, this one, they this is another one that was not numbered, but I believe they made 5000 Just not individually numbered. All right, next we have... The custom T Bird Ford Thunderbird in olive looks great in the olive with the uh, black top. Another one of my favorite all time Hot Wheels castings, right there. Has the opening roof or opening hood. Beautiful out of 6,000. All right, now this one, this is probably the most controversial one of this set. The Beatnik Bandit in the pink. As you can see, it's facing. They did that on purpose. They, since uh, Ira Guilford was uh, such an innovative designer, they put the cars in backwards. You know, kind of weird they decided to do that, but that's what they did. And this one was made to order. And again, like the uh, Hot Heap, very few orders came through. And um, this one, there's only 1,800 of this one made. So, if you do the math, that means that there can only be 1,800, at the most, 1,800 complete sets of this original 16 set. And thankfully, I was lucky enough to get two sets. And you had to buy them individually, so there's way less than 1,800 complete sets out there. Um, here is one of my favorite, these last two are my favorite too. This is the, uh, custom Camaro, 67 Camaro in sky blue. Beautiful, beautiful casting with the black top. Just awesome. And this one, very low production for this, only 3,000 made of that one. And my favorite one of all of them is the, uh, custom Mustang in gold, just absolute gem one of the nicest ever Hot Wheels ever made I think with the open hood scoops looks amazing definitely top notch and again very low production only 3,000 made of that one so that's the entire um, original 16 I also have some they've also put out some other um, retro style Redline Club packages like this I really like and um, they did a spoiler set and this is the TNT bird spoilers 
in purple. Beautiful car. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the gumball numbers on the on the doors there. It's so cool. This one um, out of five thousand. I think they actually put the sticker on here, and that's why um, I was glad they did that because I've been putting stickers on the back of my original sixteen cars. Here's another one of that set. Um, there's that in the orange. Light my Firebird. Out of 5,000. Here is the King Kuda. Um, beautiful casting. Based off the Barracuda. Like an aqua blue color. Here is the Heavy Chevy in red. That's the complete set of the spoilers. At least the ones that I know of that they've made. That's out of 5,000. Now, if you notice, um, I'll take one of these for example. This car that's on the, the original packages, they never made that car and um, until 2008. They after, at the 30 year anniversary, they actually made that car. And it's called the Custom Auto. And in Redline Club fashion, they actually put it out in a package like this. This one was limited to 10,000. Very cool to have the original Hot Wheels package car. The car is on the package as an actual Hot Wheel finally, after 30 years. And. This one is the last one. This is actually the rarest of all these cars. I'm not sure why they did this one. It's a uh, custom Camaro. And um, this was like a famous Hot Wheel back in the day. Um, very rare to have any of the Hot Wheels as an enamel paint. And it's got just a white enamel uh, 67 Camaro. And um, I'm not sure why they did like a faded out look to the package. I've never quite figured that out. I mean, compared to how vibrant these are, if you notice how faded out that one looks, and they did that on purpose, I believe, unless I just got a bad card, like a bad print. Like, it almost looks like it's hand-drawn up there. So I wonder if it was a prototype Hot Wheel or something that they just kind of um, penciled together a package. I don't know. I don't know the full story behind this. Anyway... They've only made 12, oh, they made 12,000 of this, so not 1,200. So I was thinking there's 1,200, but it's actually 12. Ah, there's the story of it right there. Um, try to get some of that glare off there. Um, the car wasn't released. It escaped. An engineering, way back in 1968, the very first custom Camaro engineering pilot samples were painted with white enamel. So the designers could spot and correct any imperfections. And if a few of the samples made their way into packages and were sold in the stores. All right. Well, there's a story of this car right there. And um, very cool. I gladly add it to my collection of Redline Club vintage style packaging. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Later. Stay tuned for more videos.